Hi, so you are wondering, do you have radium in your water? Is it toxic? Well, let me tell you. The EPA says that natural wells or city wells, especially deep well aquifers, many of them all over the country have radium 228, 226, or even barium in the water. Yes, yeah, so this video is to sort of tell you what that is. So, naturally occurring in the Earth's crust is radium. It's usually in the uh, bedrock that's under the Earth's crust. And what happens is it's trying to get out of the, into the atmosphere. And as it does that, it passes through the aquifer. That's the, where the water is sitting. So major cities and even some lakes around the country, as the water sits, the radium tries to get up to the atmosphere. And as it passes through, it detaches itself to the water droplet, especially radium 228 and 226. By the way, when that radium gets to the bottom of a house, you know, if it finds a crack in the foundation of your home, it turns to radium 222 and becomes airborne in the basement of your house. That's why most cities and Department of Public Health and the EPA, they all recommend that you should test the basement of your home for radon 222. Yes, it's the same decomposing radium that we're talking about that attaches to water droplets. It's just in the form of 228 and 226 when we're in water. And you can sort of see some of the things that the EPA actually says about radionuclides in drinking water. Now in our market, northern part of Illinois, also some parts of Florida that we service, we found high levels, levels just below the EPA standard with radium in the water. So it's really simple. It's like, do you want to trust the government and say, okay, if the level is here and their water is here or here, what level are you okay with? The, what the government says, or do you want it all out? So if you're looking to step up your radium removal in your house because your city has it, or you have tested positive for radon in your house, and you're like, wow, if it's in my air of the basement of my house, it's probably in my water, good guess, um, you might want to be able to just have an extra filter to make sure you take out the radium. Now you ask me, what will do that, huh, Drew? Well, I'm here to tell you. So a NSF certified 44 water softener will take that out. And I stress that we want to use a system that has been certified to NSF. That means National Sanitation Foundation. Those are the standards they set for removing or drastically reducing radium 228 and 226. So a certified system will mean that the NSF, or the not-for-profit National Sanitation Foundation, tested it. So as the water went through it with radium, went through the water softener and came out, they see, they test it and say, yes, in fact, it takes it out. By the way, what we've seen is it's basically all the American-made water softeners. So if it's made in America by a major manufacturer and it's got a stamp, NSF44. Now, team, don't get confused because I can't tell you how many times we recommend one and then one of my competitors will go in or someone will go online and say, oh, those guys are super expensive. That's a joke. I got one that's NSF certified too. Well, it sounds like maybe we were misleading, right? No, that other person's misleading because they are saying their, their water softener is NSF 61 listed. This is why you, the consumer, you have to do your homework. We're looking for NSF 44. 61 means, simply means that when the water passes through the softener, the material that the unit's made out of doesn't leach onto the water droplet. That's all it means. Actually, almost every product that holds water in the home in the United States must meet that standard. So it's really not that big of a deal. So be very wary of people who say ours is certified, ours is NSF certified. You want the exact listing, whether it's 44 or 58. Now, if a water softener is not available for you to use to take the radium out, which by the way, a water softener, you have to remember, will take it out the whole house, including when you're taking a shower. That's a great feature, right? You're not inhaling anything as you're taking that hot shower. So it's a nice feeling to know that the softener took it out. So NSF 44 water softener does a great job. Now, if you can't get a water softener in and you still want to 
have that extra protection to get the water to get the water safer a NSF 58 water softener or excuse me reverse osmosis system again that's NSF 58 water uh, reverse osmosis system is certified to remove radium out of the water as well so most of the time we find those have to be American made reverse osmosis systems I haven't found one that's in China yet that's been certified um, for NSF 58 that you install under the kitchen sink. So do your homework, make sure it has that. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if you got like, hey, I want to know more about it, let me know. Send, make a note here in uh, YouTube or wherever you're seeing us and I'd be happy to respond to you. We are on several EPA cases in Illinois where the communities have radium in the water. So we have the EPA looking over our shoulder to make sure we do things right. And they are the ones who taught me and taught us all about radium in water. So uh, again, if you have any questions, reach out to me because as you all know me, my name is Drew and I'm here to serve you.